when I think about the future of cloud computing, it really is, uh, you know, we are using portable devices to access applications and data uh, that live somewhere else. The interesting thing is that when your app is non-local, it, it becomes hyper-local. Um, you know, so we're seeing this in location-based apps, for example. Uh, you, uh, there's a big database in the sky that knows where all kinds of things are. It knows way more than your phone does. Uh, all your phone has to do is say, here's where I am, and then you're able to uh, figure out, well, what's relevant for me right now, right here. Uh, but I think probably more importantly, uh, you have opportunities for innovation. If you don't have capital cost associated with trying something, you can try things more rapidly, uh, more iteratively, and that's what we're really seeing in the, you know, in the, um, the startup world. Uh, the costs of testing, the costs of trying out new ideas have just plummeted uh, because you don't have to build your own server infrastructure. There are privacy implications. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, um, you know, uncharted waters as we go towards this uh, this cloud world where everything that we know is potentially accessible uh, to everyone. But I think actually there's more benefit than risk. And one of the things we really need to watch out for is that we don't hold it back because. Uh, we have some storyline about, oh, uh, you know, oh, this, that's too dangerous. You may, it, it, I'm getting old enough to remember when that's what they said about giving people PCs. You know, oh no, we couldn't do that. Uh, you know, and the fact is, it's going to explode. People are going to build these applications. They're going to be uh, things that break today's notions of privacy, but the benefits are going to be so great that people will say, oh, yeah, that's not so bad. I can live with that. One of the things that I, uh, you know, have been pushing in the government context is the idea of government as a platform. And this emerging cloud arena, particularly in the broader sense that I'm talking about, is so central for uh, my thinking there. And it's the kind of thing we're exploring at Gov2O Expo and Gov2 Summit. And it is this idea that if you have uh, the right infrastructure, then the marketplace brings back value to you. What I think is so important in the government cloud computing context is to look at government data and make those crucial policy decisions of releasing data that will enable the future. Uh, you know, whether it's, uh, oh, if we had medical outcome data out of Medicare, uh, we could actually start to see where our healthcare system is failing and where it's succeeding. We can see where the costs and the outcomes don't line up. That's huge. How do we build better citizen services? How do we get citizen input? The government building those facilities on a cloud platform will make the possibility of uh, better government. Uh, you know, because of course government is collective action. You know, government is our society deciding certain things need to be done and we need to get together uh, as a city, as a county, as a state as a nation, as a world, uh, to do something that individuals can't do alone. And what our opportunity is in this new cloud era is to think about the role of government in the cloud.